So guys, welcome back to the Crep Chief Podcast. We're back today with Brad, aka Bookers. He's a Crep Chief Notify member. Some of you may know him. You're a lifetime member as well, aren't you, bud? Of course. And um, we'll just jump straight into this, mate. Where are you from? Who are you? And how old are you? Warrington, 21. And it's Bookers, Brad. There we go, <laughs> mate. So I think we'll go into it first things first. When did you start off reselling with Crep Chief Notify? Started reselling last Sat a year ago last Saturday. Really? Yeah. You actually remember the exact yeah. date? Mad. And that's crazy to be fair. So how did you get into it? Got into it because of him. <laughs> uh, Who's Al- him? Al- Who's Alex him? Got Alex head of um Alex I want to call him is by his name. Head, head, of, head of flips, head of head products. Of head of head of flips, head of products. Um Alex got me into it. He messaged me one I messaged him one day when he was like he had like all these what was it, PlayStation something on his Snapchat? I was like, Mad, have you got all them? I'm, just, I'm, I'm I'm like, I want to get into that. And he was like, oh, I'm part of this thing called Crep Chief. I was like, oh, what's that? And he was like, um, it's basically like a reselling platform where they, go, they literally give you the ping, you buy the item, and then you sell it on yourself. I was like, well, why aren't they doing it? And then that's when like it started growing. It was like all the questions started. I was like, oh, it makes sense now because there's thousands of things. They can't get them all. Yeah. So yeah. they can give the opportunity for their members to get the link to find out where it's coming from. So I was like, oh, it makes sense then. So, uh, and then it just started from that. I was going on eBay and everything. It was ace. Wild. That's pretty mad to be fair. So if you if you hadn't have seen Alex, do you think you would ever have got into like the reselling game and things like that? Or do you think... I've been in reselling for a few years. Yeah. And I've been doing shoes and stuff. Uh, I started off with shoes, then went to bottom in that. But I've kind of drifted away from that part now because it mm-hmm. just kind of... I don't know how to describe it. It just gets a bit boring after a while. Yeah. yeah you become start, stuff, you, yeah. you start chasing things and you want to go to the next big thing. So it starts off with shoes. Then it goes to like... the kayaks, pools, yeah. PS5s, you name it. Um, I started doing sneaky re- resales. We did a lot, of, all of them were manual cops, it was literally just my phone. And then it was like, I started getting bots and stuff and I was buying yeah. more and more shoes and that. But I got bored after a while and I kind of stopped it. Um, and then that's when it's, that's when I seen Alex and Alex was saying to me like, you know, uh, you get these PS5s and they do all sorts. It's like, well, what else do they resell? And he said, you name it, it's anything. It can go anywhere from like a smaller something that fits in your hand all the way up to like a, a bloody four, four and a half kilo PS5. Yeah, or yeah, some something like that. And you go, what? That's insane, that. And to the point where it was getting to like pools and bloody egg chairs from Aldi and all sorts. How so, did, how, go on, I was just going to ask, how did you find the bottom? Did you? So I found the bottom was good, but it was like everything else with the computers and stuff you always had to upgrade and you had to spend more money yeah. into it and when the drops were kind of dying down it was like if when it was like 2019 so there wasn't as many good drops yeah, yeah. And i was like i'm paying a lot of money here for like proxies and and the bot itself is like 250 quid yeah. was you renting bots or did you own them uh it was the you sneakers bot uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I bought off Mateo actually. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm allowed to say the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it was eight. It was really, really good. And then after a while, I just kind of got bored. I was like, I can't be doing this anymore. And it took too much time yeah. to set it so up. So that's interesting. So when you was using new sneakers, was this back in 2019 or was it later uh, on than that? Later. No. Yeah, yeah, that was later on. That was like 2020, I think it was. Mm, like remember. back in 2020. Yeah, it was and, in lockdown. Just yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So with you sneakers, for people who don't know what you sneakers is, you sneakers promo here. Not that we're affiliated or anything, <laughs> but you sneakers is a raffle bot for the sneakers app. Yeah. So basically, how that works is you basically make loads of random entries and then it enters them for you and you have a chance to win it. And as people probably know with the sneakers app, it's not exactly the easiest to win. Nope. You know, at the end of the day, it's still worth entering, but it yeah. is a bit of a pain to yeah. win just because they have so many people entering. It's heavily botted, and they also have the most <laughs> shoes because it is owned by Nike. They have the most shoes, so people are really going to focus their attention on cracking this one side because if they crack this one on site you know there's endless amounts of shoes to be got for them and they get the best shoes you know dunks all kinds of bits and bobs at least so been a few good yeah what what, what was your success like with I it i had i got i got the mockers i got uh, one pair two pairs three oh, pairs it was only about three pairs yeah so my, nice, my rule is like you, you'll get say so i think i had like about 60, 70 accounts. But it got to the point where I had that many tabs open, it was destroying my laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it does couldn't get run that. it. And I was, was like, running off server? Yeah. And I was like, oh. Wait, what do you mean off server? Yeah, you can like, so you basically you just like run off remote desktop? I was just doing, no, I was just doing it on my own laptop. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't have a built PC or anything, but that's one thing I wish I did. If yeah. I had a built PC, I would probably still be doing it now, but my laptop couldn't keep running with all the stuff that was going on. Mm-hmm. And it started getting like glitchy and slow. And I was like, oh, I just couldn't be bothered anymore. So a quick workaround for that. It's like you said, yeah. you mentioned a quick like build. Uh, is for people who are into botting and people in CCN who maybe need a little more computer power that they don't have. You can rent servers. Mm. And I'm pretty sure a lot of like most bot servers do have like affiliates with other server companies. Yeah. And basically, 
basically you rent a server, you rent a really high spec server, you know, like a built, a capable, the exact same things a built PC is capable of, and you just connect to that from your laptop yeah. and you just run your bot on there, so you can get that benefit without obviously investing into a computer. So that's a cool little tip for people who are interested in botting and things you, like that. I really wish I knew yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Saying, I really wish I knew that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. So I think I want to take it back to that. So before you started reselling, what was you doing? Was you working a job? Was you in education? What was your kind of commitments before you started before reselling we, with I, Prep Chief Notify, that is? I, we, with, with CCN. Yeah, with selling. CCN. So just before you started with CCN. Just before, just before I started CCN, I was first year of uni. Um, I was still working in Part time in the care. I still work there now, actually. Yeah. Um. I work in the care. I work in the care industry. I work in the yep. care home. Doing. Um. At times, only I work in the laundry and that. And then I've like slowly gone my way off, going for like laundry, kitchen, caring, cleaning, and now I'm like doing admin stuff. Um. But as I've gone through uni, CCN's massively helped. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's a yeah, huge, yeah, yeah. huge help. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I loved it. Nice. Did you find it easy to fit in with uni? Very easy. It li- it's literally like. It depends. So the more time you invest in CCN, the more you're going to yeah. get back out. So unlike with other things where the more money you invest, you don't have to invest money. You just have to kind of, the profits you make, keep the profits and then like reinvest the profits into more yeah, products. 100%. So like, it saves you like an hour, two hours a day. You, God, you could be talking like, you can make a few hundred quid a week, yeah. can't you? Yeah, literally. But like, at the end of the day, it's still a side hustle, so you can literally like take a week off or whatever, yeah. come straight back to it and make Yeah, it's always going to be there. It's always yeah, there. And that's one thing we massively like want to focus on as well is it, this is like a money making platform for people who you know might want to come in one week, go out for one week. Like oh, yeah, yeah, I that, posted that. a testimonial on my story today, and it's like some guy saying that like he copped all these things, but now he's like heading away for a month, but he'll be back like next month. And I was just thinking yeah. like that, you know, it's like you can go away, build up these profits, you can go and travel, and then you can just come straight back in, jump back into it, and just yeah, do exactly what you did before. Obviously, the items and things might change a bit. Yeah. There might be some little bits and bobs to pick up on, but that's what we're there for. We're just like a platform that's providing yeah. the information on how to resell and you can literally do it when you want from where you want all you need is a phone internet connection I agree with you though going on about you can work like say if you're yeah. on holiday or not from home all you need is a mate or someone who can literally just box the stuff up yeah. and send it off yeah. and at the end of the day just share the profits with them exactly it's not that yeah, hard, if you like, give them like £20 for just taking in a yeah. parcel like so that's all it is literally you can do it so if even if you I'll be honest, the best thing that you can do is you like work a work from home job or a stay at home yeah. mom or yeah. someone like that. Where you're just at home, all it takes is you gotta sit at home, wait for it to arrive, uh, put it on eBay, put it on Facebook, we'll do whatever, box it up, go to the post office. Oh, yeah. the post office even comes to you nowadays. Yeah, the you post just office get just collection. The parcel force marketplace. They do they, what they do want you can pay like an extra sixty yeah. P and they'll come and they'll collect the house. And they'll even print the documents off you yeah. nowadays. Yeah, yeah, they like, do. That's it. And they like stick that was the Yeah, literally. Literally, it's it's so simple now. It's literally wait for restock, buy item wait for it to arrive, list it on eBay, list it on Facebook, wait for it to yeah. sell, pay for postage on Royal Mail, they come to your house, jobs are good and your yeah. profits in your hand and you just rinse and repeat that, keep going and it's just so easy to make money from it. It really is like there's not a lot of technicality involved no. really. You don't it's just about your time. No. Like, like you said then, it's about, you know, it's about people who are working from home, working from offices or if you've just got like, even if you're like an electrician and you've got your phone available in the day, you can just literally wait for it to buzz in your pocket, boom, pop on, cop, Boom. No. Easy, easy, doesn't easy. doesn't matter if you work a, work a nine to five, a five to nine, you're working nights. doesn't matter what job. It's flexible around everyone. 100%. All yeah, it, it takes is. is five minutes out of your day to look up and go, right, okay, well, there's an expected ping coming out in like an hour's time and then just check back in an yeah. hour. But what I like, I'll be honest, what my favorite part is about CCN and that, that's good, but it's the risk-free bit. Yeah. So yeah. like, if it doesn't sell, you can just send it back. Yeah. Nine times out of 10, it, you'll never have to send the stuff no. back. Yeah, it'll sell anyway. Like over nine times but out of 10, it's crazy. In like. the event that it happens and it's not, and there's been a huge restock, you can just send it back. Yeah. yeah. Keep no your receipts, should. know when you're sending them back, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah. Job's H- done. hundred percent, and and we sometimes get like a little bit of hate from members saying like, well, well, why was this pushed? But that's all part of it, you know. At the end of the day, we can't be right a hundred percent of the time. No one's ever right a hundred percent of the time. That's no, no. physically Especially impossible. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> like things like that. It's literally it's physically impossible to be right a hundred percent of the time. So you know, if an item does break, and in like the less than like 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 you said, it's literally nine in ten ch- chances it's selling, if not more. Yeah. And um, it's just like saying like. If it does happen, just send it back. You know, no, the money was out of your bank account for a yeah. brief period, but it's back now. What's the, you know, there's no problem. And that's one thing that's massively grateful for is like, what actually is there out there that it's another risk free side? So, like, could you, like, no. stop like, the most No way. Lose. No. no way that's risk free. It's literally your month for free. Yeah. yeah. You get your, like, your first month 50% off, the most you can lose is £40.99. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like, wait, well, let's be honest. How much is the thing now? Like 30 quid or something like that? It's just £30. It's £30. nothing. I mean, that, what's that like? Nothing. Going out for like a night, well, the night out. It's like a Nando's. 
you have Nando's. You, you, yeah. you oh, Nando's Uni Misses. Yeah, and you sit there and it's like, what? So you can either do that or you can invest into something, make two, three hundred quid over a weekend, get a few PS5s, get a few, yeah. get something else that's really selling, but like, it's mad, isn't 10, it? 30 pounds, 300 pounds real fast. 100%. And I, and I think that's, and I think this, that might cause some people to actually disbelieve the service because it's like, well, why am I paying you 30 pounds you and you're going to teach me how to make a thousand, two thousand pounds? And it just doesn't make sense, does it's it? Hard, it really is hard to, until you get your, you have to understand the mindset around it. You can't. Not yeah. everyone can go out and get a thousand PS5s. No, no way. There's no way. It, well it's like just impossible. Like, you don't get me wrong. You can get 10, 20, 30 pieces of one item. But yeah. you're never going to be able to get everything. Yeah. Are you? I mean, we've had some members who, who've gone close. Gone really hard, they? yeah. Really, really, really close. They've got Literally, hundreds you've got, of them. You've got yeah. to proper clean up. And, it, and like, it's like when we did our 100 PS5s in one shop, you like, and they came on a pallet full. It's like pallet full of PS5s <laughs> and jokes. <laughs> and I wish, we, and we actually made a YouTube video of that, but it, we had to take it down. But I wish that could still be up there because that was just a massive cookout. And that's an example yeah. of the level you can take it yeah. to. You know, you can get 100 PS5s on a pallet. Like, it's just bonkers. But then, you know, you've got to think about, like, when restocking. Like, Amazon might restock 15,000 PS5s at once. You know, I can't physically buy 15,000 no, yeah, PS5s. Yeah, yeah. And I guess no one, even if you've got a bot, there's just no way because they filter your address, they filter things like that. Yeah. But everybody can get two, three, four consoles, yeah, especially on Amazon. I love Amazon. Like Amazon's you said, so just easy. literally ping, <laughs> click. Swipe, checked out, yeah. profit. Next it's just day, no, no, even at yeah. it, same day delivery. Exactly. Yeah. And it I've comes never had one same day or next I've day. Never had one I don't think we get same day delivery here, we but it, we, it literally comes next day and boom, on Facebook, on eBay. With that as well, though, even after you've got your first thing, you could even chuck it on eBay, chuck it on Facebook then, and it might even sell before the PS5s have even sure. arrived at your yeah. house. It, it and you can't same. go wrong with them once, can you? You really Exact same thing this morning as well. BT restocked this oh, morning. Oh, yeah. So literally, in the group this morning, they restocked. Alex is there giving away. Unique codes to, yeah, to check them, them in, yeah. which I cop two. It took like fifteen minutes. Yeah, if that, a few of our like, members got some. Did you cop? Yeah, yeah, we was giving out codes. Of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> 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 But yeah, we was giving out codes to all our members and I'll, I'll quickly explain how BT works. BT, you actually have to have a unique code to check a PS5 out to obviously counteract many people getting them. But what I did was, I, if you actually go back to our, one of our very first YouTube videos, we put a little segment <laughs> in. I actually coded the bot on the YouTube video, just like bought the PS5 raffle. I didn't win anything for two or three months and then on like the third month out of nowhere, like 500, <laughs> 600 wins just came through. Seriously? Yeah, just like BT codes. No way. And we're still using them to this day. So like, we're just giving them out every single drop. Yeah, stuff, that's where we've got them from. So you just got loads of codes. Yeah, you can't that, can you? No, we can't no. complain. That I was buzzing, there's and I remember saying to Alex, "So I was like, you know, why have we not won any? Why have we not won any?" And then a couple of drops later, they all came in. There's some of the other benefits of CCN. I mean, look, you've got our own staff giving mm, out yeah. PS5 codes. It's not like we've even got to wait for Amazon stuff to restock. No. We've got codes literally giving there. you PS5s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. These are the secured PS5s. PS5s. Just join, check out, and it's that simple. It is that simple. And it's like, and it, they just the thing is though with it, it's just it's right now. And I keep, and I feel like people, if you're watching this and you've been debating joining up, you know, you need to take action now because PS5s aren't going to be around forever, and no. they are one of the best items in CCN. Yeah. But there will always be new items after PS5s. Like I've been reselling personally for five, six years now, and there's never been one point in time where I've not been able to like sustainably live my life off reselling. You know, whether it's thousand, two thousand pound per month, you know, that's enough for some people. If you're doing this alongside your normal job. That's perfectly fine. And that's yeah. what it's about. It's a side hustle. You obviously can take it to the next level, but for most people, it's a side hustle yeah. and you can make great money. And it's just, it's fantastic. It really is. There's yeah. a lot of people who've got, who turned it from a side hustle into a main income. I mean, like, oh, for sure. what's, that, what's that lad called? Is it um, the one from down? Is it Heathy or something? Heathy. Look, what, Heathy. look at Easton. He only did it as a little side hustle. And then yeah. before you know it, you can make a business out of it. But yeah. even that, like, you say, like, he's branched off into different regions. And I know you have as well, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. yeah. But he's actually <laughs> branched off into. A lot of others, different things like FBA and print on demand and NFTs. stuff. And you could probably name some stuff that you've now branched off into. Yeah, so um, I I start. It was literally just starting off as like a bit of reselling, like you know, Facebook and stuff. But when you can you move to eBay and FBA, FBA is so easy. Literally. Uh, is it F- I always get them mixed up. Is it, F- was you sending FBA? them off to Amazon? Always sending, sending them off to Amazon. Yeah, that's yeah. FBA. Right, so FBA, right. So that's what I do a lot more of the time. So like you literally, you package your stuff up, you send it off to Amazon. Amazon will ship, print, and send it for and you. And market it for you. And market it for you. <laughs> Just jokes, really There's is. not like, you can't get anything better than no, that. It's so easy. No, nah, it no. is great, especially on Amazon. But the, the problem with that is, you know, fees. a lot of items, that, yeah, there's also fees on there, but a lot of items as well, you know, gated. Yeah. So like PS5s are a bit of a struggle to do on there. Yeah. Um, like loads of other stuff like that. That you know, you have to explain what be, gated means. So, gated means so yeah. basically, how it works on Amazon is some products basically you can't sell. So, anybody you can go and sign up to be an Amazon FBA seller, and as long as you've got a registered company, so you do that and you sign up, and then you can sell 
a bunch of products, but you can't sell every single product on there. No, you like can't. you can't start selling PS5s. There are ways to get ungated on PS5s, but the, the a lot of products you can't sell because you, you need to be ungated. You know, just do them yourself, PS5s. It's a lot hundred percent. They're easy sellers. And anyway. the way you More actually get well. yeah, and the way you actually get around that as well is. You have to go to wholesalers, don't you? Yeah. They sometimes have ungated yeah. forms that they can get you ungated mm-hmm. um, or other stuff like that. There's various different methods. Uh, so have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever been ungated on anything or so, have you just been doing stuff that doesn't require um, it? I can't remember. I, I started off with, uh, obviously, I went around Tesco and I found loads of, because Amazon's so easy. You have like, your own bar, You have the app going. You, you scan yeah. it. It'll tell you how much profit you can make. You put in how much it costs and how much you get after the fees and stuff, yeah. which is one really good thing with Amazon. But with Amazon, it tells you if it's gated or not. Now, I found a lot of the time in mainstream supermarkets, it's like Tesco, as the Sainsbury's. It's like 50 50, either it is gated or it isn't. You literally find every yep. one in two products yeah. gated or not. So, for example, you could walk down the clearance aisle and you'll see things like Nivea will be gated, won't it? Yep. But then, like, you'll go like an aisle down or like um, a little shelf down and you'll have like things like, oh, I don't know, can't think off the top of my head. Like water bottles, yeah. or cutlery, or plates, yeah. or it's all just those big brands, brands, really, isn't it? It's like the uh, blue chip brands yeah. that are big but you can, things like you can actually get ungated selling Lego. So, there's like a few members yeah, that yeah, are yeah, like, yeah. CCN yeah. who sell thousands of pounds worth of Lego every month. Yep. And it's like, I found at Christmas, I couldn't get on Gates at that time though. There was these, um, what were they, Alex? They were, the thing I sent you the shelf on Lego, it was like a, it was called, like a yacht boat or something. It was a called, little yacht boat, that sounds pretty cash to be called, fair. Yeah, it was cash. They were like, so they were 17 quid instead of like 48 pound, I think they were. And it was like, it was, honestly, they were selling 48 quid and they were 17 pound. Yeah. Call it? Oh, it's the like adult version of Lego, what's it called? Oh, you can think of the name. What's it called? I think that's the kids' version. No, maybe yeah. it's like Technica or something like that. Technica, that's it. Yeah. Oh, right. the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. More adult and they're like these sailing boats. And they're like seventeen quid. I'm sat there going, "Oh, I could make so much profit off these." But the thing is, if you can't sell on Amazon, you can sell it on eBay. Yeah. So you see, there you go. Oh, well, I can still sell it either way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'll be. Like, I prefer Amazon at the time because, like I said, they market it, they ship it, they send it, they sell yeah. it. It's yeah. easy. It's so, almost just like an easy, it's just like a post office yeah. sale. It is very easy. And that's something that we want to get into more in CCN, especially coming up into the summer period, things like that. Um, but other than that, so what are some, What would you think like are some consistent products you've been selling at your time at CCN? Like what, what have been like staple pieces for you? Staple pieces are, oh, besides PS5, besides the main yeah, ones. Yeah, so everybody yeah. knows PS5s. You've been besides flipping Besides kayaks, PS5s. pools, garden, garden furniture in summer is just cash. Oh, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah. Like you, you've, you go you go to Aldi, you get an egg chair or you get like... Uh, what egg, egg chairs. Egg chairs. Egg chairs. Oh, oh, classic. Like, nah, any Facebook mum wants an egg chair. <laughs> don't they? They're lovely. Or like them, so, the, them. The, loud, the sun yeah, lounges, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. insane them yeah. as well. But like, but the thing is, with Aldi because they sell it so cheap and it's good. It's actual like uh, what's the word? Good quality. Yeah, yeah. Aldi you can stuff. Sell it so, so really good quickly. quality. So good. But um, like last last summer, the pools were the best. The pools yeah. were insane. The fourteen foot, the twelve foot, the, the best way ones. Foot. Yeah, the best way ones because they come with the pump and everything. I was like, oh, go on, I'll have that dead quick. You <laughs> literally just have like it a day and it'd be gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's mad when you get that kind of turnover of products. You know, people buying this much stuff and really like, you know, actually like there's actually people out there actively buying all these things, but it makes sense because yeah. if you yeah. can't get them anywhere else, where are they going to get them from? They're not just going to think, oh, I'm just not going to have it. You know, they're <laughs> yeah. going to want it. If people want it, yeah. they'll, they'll have it and they yeah. will pay the price for it. Yeah. That's one thing I've learned. So I always thought like, you know, who'd want to pay that? But there's people out no, there. No, for people sure. Want it. But I've been in that situation. It's literally like a kayak or a pool or whatever. And you're probably out with like, or you're out in the back garden, your family, and you're just like, I'll just go and look for a pool. And the price is the price at that point. Yeah. It's just like a take it or a leave it. If you don't like you it, then you just up. leave it. Oh, it's like a, I can't think of the word. It's like the, the want it, so they'll pay any price Yeah, yeah, for literally. It. It's and just I a proper lust for that product. No product. one will pay it. And believe me, I was so wrong. That, like, everyone will pay it. Yeah. People <laughs> will pay stupid amounts of money for anything. Yeah, it's insane. 100%. It's literally wild. It's, it's, it's pretty unbelievable, to be honest. And that's what a lot of people think. It's like, we'll get people coming on our TikTok saying like, why would anyone pay over for this? Like one guy even commented before. He was like, it must have been a troll. He was like, PS5s aren't even reselling anymore. And then there's like people <laughs> jumping in the comments like, like saying, like, just go one, and check no. on eBay sold listings. And you know what? The actual thumbnail on the TikTok was like eBay sold listings from that same day yeah. that we uploaded the TikTok. You check eBay ridiculous. right now. I guarantee you'll, see, yeah. you'll still see disc PS5s for 5 99 Even yeah, the yeah. DGs are going for like 500 quid. Yeah. You sit there and you go, oh, if people pay it. I mean, yeah. get The thing is, you can literally just go on eBay yeah. and literally check these listings. If you listings. don't believe us, go and check. Just go on eBay, swipe to the right and click on fucking sold... Listings, you can literally just swipe it on 
Mm. And then you can just literally see, and it goes by the date. So it'll go by, like, today's date and go down. You can see how many sell a day. It's probably like, yeah. Did Alex tell you about what I found at B&M the other week? What was that? So walking to B&M. So obviously, besides CCM, I always try and find my own little flips and stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I want to tell people, but I know, like, the brickers. Yeah. Type of, you sit there, I'll be, I'll be fuming if this gets bricked. But <laughs> with these um, vacuum filters for 10p each. Yeah. And I walked wow. on the shelf, and I was like, oh, no way, they're 10p. It's like, oh, do you know what? 10p is free. Look on eBay, mm -hmm. and they were selling two for 15 quid. Like filters was he like selling pumps. daily? What? Yeah. Was he selling but daily? I sold about fucking seven since That's last sick. week. I, I told him to go down. He's like, oh, I can't be asked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I only do 100 pounds on this. The he money goes, man. You sit there, he's like, oh. I'm not getting out of bed for that. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, 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 it's not let me show you because the internet in here, like, but um, I was going to say, they, they were these vacuum filters from B&M and they were for B&M's own Hoover things yeah. and they were selling for 10p each and on eBay you could sell two for 15 quid. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll tell you what, because I'm only going to lose, what, two pounds six, it's like 26. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not asked to lose in two pounds 60. <laughs> and then like when I sold about seven, eight within a few days, I was like, Mad, mm -hmm. that's well good. Yeah. So I went back and there was like 11 more. So I got a few more. And then like even they've gone now. So I've just decided to put, put them on Facebook as well. Because yeah, you will sell them. People will pay it. Yeah, For 15 yeah. quid, people aren't bothered. No. And at the end of the day, and if it doesn't really work or you can't sell them, I'm not going to send them back for 10p. Yeah, yeah. Like, but <laughs> it, it was ace. I mean, what was another one was these uh, at Christmas was these uh, these like dolls in B B and M is the go. Yeah, you ever get the chance? Yeah. Loads of B and M things. Oh, in B and M clearance that. is insane, especially for Lego. Anything towards Christmas as well. They have like a huge clearance section. I've sold things from paint brushes that are dead cheap and all sorts. Man, that's wild. just scavenging, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> really, is just scavenging. anything yeah. proper niche in it? Like anything that's got. Yeah, one. you'll find anything in B and M. But yeah, it's, it's when it becomes really cheap and um. Like one thing we've do, one thing we do is we've got like we've just got like monitors that run through. So we got like hot UK deals monitors. Yeah. They're constantly searching things of hot UK deals. We got like monitors searching other websites, checking the prices on Amazon just to yeah. see if we can like pick any flips up here and there. But you should be surprised on Amazon, especially like the amount of like difference in between price. Like it might be 160 pounds on X website, but then like 300 pounds on Amazon. Yeah. But it's like people are obviously going to go to Amazon because they, they want the service more, and they yeah. trust it. Yeah. Yeah, they do. That's that's a good thing with Amazon. But yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't know that it's just like. Sometimes it's not Amazon no. directly like selling stuff. But then stuff. one yeah. thing we do is uh, after looking at its price in Amazon, we're like, hmm, well, does this also resell on eBay and Facebook? Because, you know, n n not every fees. single time, but no. sometimes it does sell. So that's why we've been doing it. We've been just trying to get eBay, you know, flips in and things like that. But like I said, we're going to be focusing on FBA going into the summer, going around the stores and that. And um, I was I even thinking wait. about integrating something in the CCN app to like check products, things like that, you know, maybe maybe stuff like that. But yeah. for sure, something like that. Um, price check. Yeah, gone. I can't wait for our members to see what's coming this summer, especially with FBA. FBA is serious money. Yeah, it's, money. it's there's reselling like the little side hustle, and there's like another gap, and yeah. you go, whoa. Because you, you over one weekend you can list stuff on the Friday, and because you've already sent it off, you'll just get a notification saying your item is sold, your item is sold, and like mm. you'll get like six notifications within an hour, and you go, whoa, hold big on a payout on the way. Yeah, and it's just <laughs> like, oh, well, that was easy. Why don't I do that more often? But with Amazon, Amazon is a lot harder because you got to pay a monthly fee, haven't you, for yeah, Amazon? Yeah. And then they take like um, what's called the percentage out, what they charge. Yeah, like that. you've also got to worry about saturation as well. That's the problem. I know. If, if they've got like twenty of your units, yeah, and not selling anymore. You know, if, if Brad lists them up for twenty quid. I list them up for 17 quid. Tom lists them up for 15 quid. Tom's price is I'm coming up bars. first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, you know, it's for him to sell, then me to sell, and then Brad to sell. Yeah. And that yeah. that's one of the problems with Amazon, especially because it pushes everybody's listing into one listing. Yeah. And that can quickly brick products, yeah. whereas eBay, that doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, with but, eBay, it's literally you change your image, change your title, yeah. and all these factors can can push a sale through. You don't matter about the price, really. Which do you guys prefer? Do you prefer selling eBay or Facebook or what's your preference? Well, I don't mind eBay because I like just being able to, I just like selling things quick, but then, uh, you know, I, all, I all, everything I get, I always list on Facebook as well because if somebody's going to go and pick it up from local, yeah. I'll take it. Why not? It's easier for yeah, me. They come to you. Yeah, actually, no, no fees. fees. They just <laughs> like, come around, pick it up. Bob's me uncle. I'm obviously checking whether they're <laughs> legit before and like because obviously that's one risk as well. And that's one thing I wanted to take it back to. Well, and we were talking about this before. And it was like when you first started reselling, what happened with your first sale? Oh, right. Okay. So <laughs> we're not the first bad sale. Eh? First bad oh, sale. Right. Okay. So I got stung by the fake bank transfer app, and I was selling PS5. I didn't listen to, it was my own fault, I didn't listen to the guides, I didn't listen to the CCN, I just jumped in and I was like, all right, okay, got a PS5 and the lad who, who was meant to do it, who was meant to be the buyer wasn't the same person in the profile picture. And it's your typical horror story. Yeah. There was hundreds of red, red flags, flags all over the and place. And you just sit there and I was like, oh no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And I, I kid you not, the minute I walked away, I messaged him and he was like, 
you're a muppet. I was like, why? He was like, no, you're a muppet. He said, where are they? Got to try and get the details and all this other stuff. And I went, no, they've gone now. And he was like, he's being serious. I said, yeah, you, he said, I'll bet you any money. That money's gone now. And I was like, I've lost my PS5. But luckily, mm. I had like four. So the next three yeah, at yeah. the time, the profits were like 150 back. each. So I broke even. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah. But I was like, as your first sale, it was a massive, massive thing. Like, I don't want to go into this. I'm really out of my depth. Yeah. yeah. But, but that's a good example of how that can happen to you. Yeah. And then, boom, you come back in with three more sales, you break even. And even though this one guy did try and have you off and did have you off, yeah. you know. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> it's like, you can still come back for it. And that's one thing I tell people is, you know, like, even if you don't get the first restocks or even if you do get scammed, don't give up, people. Don't let yeah, that don't, deter you. Don't give up. Go don't back, work. make your yeah. cash back. And this is why we always say as well is, you know, when you're starting with Crepe Chief Notify, you need to have disposable income. This can't be your last £500. Pound. Be it yeah. needs so to be five hundred pound you can be without because if something like this does happen if you do skip over a guard and people hate reading people just hate reading the guards and things like that so you know and if you're not a member yet thoroughly read them guides especially the scam please, ones because the last the thing guides. you ever want is to be scammed because yeah. we see it we see it happening on the odd occasion and things like that but it's not often people get scammed it no, really it's not. isn't no, it's not. but on the off chance when it does happen and you can get scammed on ebay as well can't you but yeah when you've read the guide like the i've read it, the guides yeah. before so there's like there is big red flags to look out for yeah. and if you're not a beginner and you do actually read the guides no. then you'll be able to go all right okay so i'll just swerve that i'll just ignore their yeah. messages yeah. or it can be prevented, that's Yeah, it, yeah. Can it, can be prevented. it can all be prevented. And that's prevented. what we do in CCM. We tell yeah. you how to prevent it. Yeah. We tell you all these we'll things. Just listen to the guys. There, yeah. Don't listen to the guys. <laughs> just read, guys. It's not like... Oh, normally don't read I could feel I could actually feel Alex's face palm when like, I sent him that and he was like, are you joking me? Like, he was going to help me source them as well and he was like, lad, are you being serious? Because oh, it's one of them though, isn't it? You live and learn. But in this game, if you do get knocked down, you've got to learn, you've got to get back up and you've got to start running again. But you've got to learn from mistakes like everything in life. You don't get through life, get unscathed or not harmed because it, nah. that's just how things work. Ups and downs, you're mate. meant to fall over and you're meant to learn how to get back up and start running again. And there's been loads of times, like I've, been, I've nearly been scamming on eBay a few times and everything else, but you just have to learn, yeah. get up and start running again. 100% just don't give up on that that's yeah. one thing I've always said the amount Education. of times I've like been knocked down in that and like the amount of times like, I've been like oh wow like really I'm gonna have to go back on this and like do these other things and you know at the end of the day that's just part of the game it's just another really roadblock in the sure. journey to success yeah, it really is sure it. so in CCN one of my favourites was the 3090 graphics cards mate they was Profit they because I, when I when I got all of them when I not all of them when I got <laughs> I got the whole thing <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> when I got like a, a big amount of them yeah. they was going for mad money I was paying fourteen hundred pound for them and they were yeah. selling for two thousand three hundred I sold seven to one guy in one sale so I literally ordered nice. like ten we had like ten here this is one of our first videos as well I think I made like four thousand two hundred pound profit in about. 20 minutes work. Get lost. All I did was I went on scan, basically bought them. I used CCN's method to get multiple uh, multiple graphics cards. Yeah. And if you want to find that out, you'll have to become a Crep Chief Notify member. But basically, I did that. When they all arrived, I listed them on Facebook. They must have been on there for about a day. One guy was like, all right, mate, I'm building mining rigs. I'll yeah. take all seven. £2,300 each. He come down, picked them up. I made £4,200 profit in 20 minutes work. That and that was at the shit. hype of the graphics cards. So they have died off a bit now. 39s aren't reselling anymore. Mm. One of the only cards reselling now is the 3060 Ti. Yeah. But we have got the 40 series coming up soon. So hopefully we're seeing some it's big cheap, cash on, on them. And that's what people want. People want cheap cards. That's why the 3060 yeah. Ti is doing well. Because the cheaper the card, the better it is. You know, people are going to buy multiple, yeah. plug them all in. Because like you said, you can run them side by side. And so... Cheaper the flip, bigger the profit, isn't it? So... Yeah. 100%. I think some of mine are probably lazy spas. Yeah. Ooh, and then there was the lazy spas. Yeah. I don't know if he was around. Horizon crossing. Or Horizon crossing switches. Really? So was you yeah. a member at that point? No. These I... were restocking like every day, <sighs> easy from Smiths. And they were really? Like, probably like. There's no limit quid. from Smiths though, is there? Nope. No. Oh. You, these <laughs> were an easy clean up. An easy clean up. These. I still have. I still actually many? got some because I didn't even sell them. How many did you cop? Oh man, I must have done like twenty plus of these. Easy. Like, really? Even yeah, easy. Even standard switches were still flipping as well. Yeah, so yeah. I was yeah. buying them. The neon well. ones, the blue. Flipping and them, flipping them as well. But the Animal Crossing ones, they were fire. I think the Animal Crossing ones were going for like four hundred and thirty pound, weren't they? Something Flying, like that. Yeah. And you bought them for the same price as a switch, like two hundred eighty quid. Just because they had a cool design yeah. on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And there was that Animal Crossing, and Animal Crossing was obviously like a popping game popping in COVID. They had, you, you'd have seen them on like um, bus did. stops and that. They was big marketing. Them. Yeah. You know, for people who are doing that, for when they when these products get marketed massively, you know, this is when these demand issues come in. And um, other than that, you know, 
I like them Parisian blues. The Parisian blue air wraps, they was really good yeah. for me. And one thing I do want to talk about is these Dyson air wraps are uh, the new model. I believe still we've had these on the monitor for about a month now. Um, these still haven't restocked, so they've been out of stock for still at least flipping. a month, and they're still yeah. flipping on it. Uh, still flipping on eBay. Yeah, they are. Things Mother's like that. Day, they were selling loads on Mother's oh, Day. Wow, on Mother's Day. Just before Easter, they were still selling. If you check eBay right now, if you want um, sold listings, you'll probably still see three or yeah. four a day. And you? This Alex one sold one this morning, though. No? Did you? Oh, no. no. Sold oh. Who sold the Dyson this morning? Was it you? You mm. sold the Dyson. You were saying you sold the Dyson. No, it was someone who might, might be uh, buying oh, it. Oh, okay, right okay, now. okay. Might be buying it. Yeah, so that was that, and if people want to go check that out, it's the 2022 brand new ones, but it's just stuff like that, there's so many things to flip, and I just can't wait for summer, can't wait for the heat wave to come, and we get some big things, we get the kayaks out, we get all the bits yeah. and bobs, the and sun we really comes out, get all, in there, all the, the money Facebook, comes out. Yeah, all the Facebook mums <laughs> hop on the marketplace, pool, kayak, bloody, uh, what's it called, them big umbrellas, like oh, sun lounges, yeah. Yeah. anything that's in Aldi that's just not there, they want it that day, it's like, go on then, yeah, so anything sad. from Facebook. Yeah, anything. <laughs> she wants to get ladies round, doesn't she, a couple of gins <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> Rolly up. Started got, buying another good one with those tables with the ice bucket in the center. Oh, yeah. Do you have any of them? Oh, yeah. The ice bucket Flyers. tables. Yeah, yeah. They were in Costco, weren't Even they? my mum was on them. She was a <laughs> Facebook mum for one of them. Literally, <laughs> though. But it makes sense on everyone wants yeah. to be outside. No, you want your ice. Sense. You want your cold beverages. You know, you really, beverages. You really want <laughs> you know what it. I also found was a really good flip. It's, and it still kind of is towards the summertime. The fire pits. Oh, they fire are pits insane. Flying. That was my first yep. item I ever sold in CCM. Though. How much profit did so you make on it? 45 quid. I think it's all like, it wasn't much. What was the Hacienda one? Yeah, the Hacienda one. I can't oh, remember. Yeah. You're going back over a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sell that much and you sit there. Oh, I can't even remember, to be honest. <laughs> How bad's that? I've got a question for you. Go How on. many items do you think you've resold in the last year since you've been at Crap Chief Not a Fire? <sighs> like individual different products or like overall? I mean, individual. Oh. I mean, units. I mean, oh, like units. Units. Oh, oh, thousands. Thousands. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you take in the little things, yeah. like the little 10p things, little five pound things, little things like that. A tenner, a twenty quid, yeah, and you buy off. loads. It, honestly, yeah. what, what else? Been, what's been a small flipping CCN that I've caught loads of? Them? Do you remember them he- heroes jujitsu things? Yeah. Did you do no, any of them? Sent off to Amazon. The, oh, I, yeah, I caught mate. about maybe twenty of them from the Smiths. Honestly, he he, he taught me how to send them off. Oh, sorry, Alex head of flips, <laughs> 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 CEO of flips over there. Um, told me he literally just put it in a box and he sent off to Amazon. That's it. But I think I got about 10, 20 of them, and they were st- at the time they were like twenty three quid profit each. Yeah. Like 23, 24 quid and profit. Did they all sell? Yeah, of course. Of course they all sell. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't be laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they was a big piece. They was on the monitor for ages and they were so limited and it was a weird one why they was actually so limited. Mm. And it's like, we've got another flip coming up this week, haven't we, Alex? Uh, oh, it's like a toy, in it? It's dropping on Selfridges, Hamley, oh, Harrods. It can't, can you say it over the camera? We can beep it. Uh, What's it called? Uh, yeah, we can't, we can't be. Go on. What is it? I I'll know. beep it out. I want to know now that but this is dropping this week i believe and um this should be another great flip there was some massive 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 hype on this there hasn't been a bad f- i'll be honest in the year that i've done it with ccn there's not been a bad flip no you th- you think of a bad flip off the top of your head really so this takes me back to so have you lost any, any have you lost on any products in ccm apart from like obviously the ps5 F- you mentioned besides before. scammers yeah besides yeah, scamming no, nothing really no, nothing both. so one product i can think of off the bat is the aware elements but they was an absolute nope. Did you sold sell in them? peak. Well, sold there you go. Peak. There you so go. He, he, he was wrong. doing well for a brief period, but then... <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> Milo's wrong. No, <laughs> no, no, but I know what you're saying. But that's what I mean. And that takes me back to my, my point. It wasn't that we posted it and it was an instant bad yeah. flip. It was yeah, it, it was, was a good just, flip for a while. Time, yeah. And then it over while things start coming it was a good out. Month. And then they had this big licensing issue, didn't they? And that's what... Yeah. Just and the crypto market it. as well. You want to think yeah. when the crypto... When, right, so when you're buying things like actual mine equipment, if the crypto market's in decline... That's only booming because crypto's booming. Yeah. But like even them got were they mint boxes? They were selling ace. Yeah. And then the crypto market yeah. went down. But again, you gotta be fast. I keep saying yeah. this. You've got to it's about for me, it's a fast turnover of things. Yeah. I don't wanna keep items for the long yeah, haul. No now. way. Even things like summer, you're gonna find pools, kayaks, whatever, garden furniture in summertime anyway. There's no but point in stocking loads. No way. You Christmas. Think about it, the, the, these products are only selling because they're trending right now. Yeah. And how fast the trends turn around right now. Yeah. So oh, if you literally quick, just yeah. buy and sell, like why it's still in yeah. trends. You've got, you got nothing to lose really. Fast it's turnover, keep selling, keep selling, yeah. keep selling, keep selling. For sure. But that's what I mean. And it's literally like, it's one thing I always said, especially for new people, it's definitely not about holding. It's in, yeah. out, yeah, profit, out. rinse and repeat. And same thing goes for the NFT game. And that's one thing that massive people, 100%. and I've done it and like, and I've heard many other people, our staff members who are also into NFTs, like they're saying like, you know, I've held too long. And that is a thing that happens. You can hold too long. So sure. for me, you know, obviously if you're chasing that big bag, you know, 
you're chasing a, a bag, risks going yeah, up. your risk's going 100%. up and then your chances are going down. Yeah. Because yeah. to get a big one, like if you want to make a big bag, like like in an NFT, for example, if you want to make like a hundred grand off one NFT, mate, that is low chance. Yeah. That's so low chance. Not, like, you won't make it's it like winning the lottery, like, no. but it's not like, it's obviously higher chances than winning the lottery, but to make like a hundred grand in one sale, you know, that's like, it's realistically never going to happen. But then you, Say you, that. you, you I go know about, someone that done it in it, NFT it, last week. It can I know someone really? died. Someone's done it this week, yeah, in NFT. But then you've got to think, like he so his for him so let's say there's 500 people in nft you know he's one guy so it's, it's a 0.5 percent chance yeah. and he did make 100 grand in one sale but oh, it was like 70 grand i think it was is he a ccm um, like that. paid 2f and it's now worth 35 yeah and he's is got, he a ccm member yeah he's an nft yeah. member of course he is cause he, <laughs> he was on the moonbirds nft that's what yeah. it was one it? oh is that what it was yeah, yeah. big stonks yeah. big stonks got but it's an example and and so it, that's the good thing about NFTs. You have got the chance to make the big, big, big bag, yeah, you can. but you've also got another chance. To, you've, you've also got the like. What we do is we just run it the same way as um, we do in crypto. If you know, it's buy, sell, profit. You know, Wait, you make your you couple hundred dollar profits. You maybe a couple hundred quid, maybe a thousand quid. But then it's just buy, sell, buy, sell because there's yeah. constantly more drops coming out all That'd the time, so and there always yeah. will be people yeah. reselling. Has been around forever. It's like the Nintendo Wii that came out in like 2008 or something like that, and I that was reselling Wii. for like a year or two. It's just I love the Wii. Sick. <laughs> it, that's what I mean. When a new great piece of technology comes out and nobody can get it, it's reselling. It's I just is what it is. I don't even really want to blur this one out, but I've actually heard that this Nintendo Switch, uh, the Nintendo Switch, the new, the new Wii Sports, yeah. yeah, that's meant to sell out. You know, there's not, really? there's not loads. Mm-hmm. They've not made load unless you get the digital copy, which I don't love. They do, they do what they don't. I don't really yeah. own the Switch. Yeah. But if it's physical copies, if that sells out, yeah, yeah, imagine yeah. the money for our CCM members. There we go. Yeah. Easy profit. We, we have <laughs> actually got a couple of Nintendo Switch games on at the moment, haven't we, Alex? I believe we got some. We got some ones on there at the moment, and uh, got, they're limited I, edition ones, aren't they? But yeah, and it's like what Elden Rings Collector's Edition, oh, Valve Edition, to fly. Yo, money, money. Fly. big Stupid money. Profits. Did you get any? Yeah, oh, oh, those were around the same like, time. I had like one. Yeah, though, one I didn't time. manage to get I one. Did, I didn't get loads. I, yeah, I didn't get loads. How much did you make I on that? Remember, I think. Ah, oh, fuck it, I can't remember. It was a few. Was it's three hundred quid. It was a couple. Yeah. It really no, I didn't make three hundred. I didn't make three hundred. I only think. made about two. I didn't make three hundred quid. Yeah, no, but no. I think it was like a hundred quid to buy, wasn't it? And then it was like selling flat three hundred. But that's yeah, like it's, an example. A game, a game collector's edition box comes out. <laughs> we're all buying them up. They're selling. And isn't there another or even better one which goes for like even more money? It was like the Halo not? Xbox that was flying. Yeah, Elden Ring. You're the Halo. Yeah, two thirty pay. Sell them six hundred. Insane. Elden Ring. What is it? Collector's edition. Premium collector's edition. Did you edition. win on the uh, Xbox fridge? I made cash on that. Xbox I didn't know, yeah. With the, so that was another product that kind of tailed off towards the end, but we obviously told members when we seen it tailing yeah, off, you be know, cancel though. return. Yep, yep. Because what happened was they basically released them and they was like, so you bought them and then they was like, yeah, this is only coming in four months. So if you was yeah, on them yeah, at the start, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, hot, yeah. hot, hot, hot. Christmas. I might be was on them at the start, yeah. but it was the, it was that's what it was. It was the delivery date for after Christmas. So it was yeah. like a delivery date it in February, it, it and that's when it kind of breaks. But we obviously knew, and we just told everybody to cancel. And you know, Bob's our uncle. All Jimmy's our man. Xbox's fridge on Christmas Day. Didn't they? I know it's rubbish. I'll tell you, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Not fridge, <laughs> Xbox <you know>. fridge, <laughs> shit. We've <laughs> got one in there. We've got one in there, and it's so bad, mate. Literally, just like a little crappy fridge. Yeah, it just doesn't even get cold. Who's gonna pay ninety quid for a mini fridge anyway? You seen how small it is? As well, yeah, you can still have one bag of apples in there, mate. It's fucking (laughs) wank. You feel like four Coke cans, you're like, oh. It's <laughs> <No. laughs> so like that it for ninety pounds, nice. Yeah. And it doesn't even oh, keep wow. it cold. <laughs> it, man, and if you leave it on for ages, it starts making horrible noise. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. so bad. It's so I had it on my desk for ages, and it was just it, like, it yeah, so get out. I was like, see, I'm I'm more into PS5. Me, I'm not into Xbox, and I was just saying, I was like, who the fucking want an Xbox fridge? Yeah. So, but bad. there's people out there who want who yeah, will sure. pay it. You want the cancer they? monster in it? Yeah. yeah it's like the kids will have seen it, and they're like, I want that mom. Got a mini fridge in the room for stick hot monsters. All the Facebook mums going. You can see the Facebook mums on the horizon going. <laughs> <laughs> That'd look nice in your room, wouldn't it, Charlie? You can yeah. just see when the heat wave comes out. When the when the heat wave, you can just see them all getting ready. To type, is this available? <laughs> <laughs> that preset button on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> Stop Stop it. it. <laughs> Send it. Because when you got multiple listens, and you see it from the same person, don't you? And you sit there, it's like, right, we get it. You want it, okay? Yeah. But. Uh, so, so the next one. go on. I've got one more question for you, and go this on. is just based on like crap you've not found. So, do you think that like crap you've like has at all interfered with like your daily life no like no, do you no, think no, it's no. really worked like well alongside it's anything so easy it doesn't matter if you do it for you can wake up first thing in the morning grab your phone and take your five minutes look at what look at what might be coming out today check the chat see what everyone's talking about and then leave it or no. you can if you've got nothing else to do like on a saturday or sunday or whatever you can just you can spend hours and hours researching looking but my thing is that i learned especially like 
from like last year to, from what I learned from last year to now is that you can use what other people think is going to start selling to your own initiative and then start yeah. finding it yourself. Yeah. So like finding little mini flips and stuff, stuff that CCN aren't throwing yeah. out there. And people in the chat are talking about, is this selling? Is this selling? I've just found this in B&M, question mark, is this selling? And then literally you sit there and you go, oh, well, I've got free time. I may as well. That's the only time for me where it's took up my time because I'm yeah. interested. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I'll go out and try and find the flip. Besides that, no, you're talking five, ten minutes a day, if that. 100%. It doesn't take much. You Let's be honest, You, I bet you both look at your phone now and you check how much time you spent on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Oh. It'll be hours a day. Yep. You yeah. don't need hours a day. No. You only need a few minutes. You grab your phone, you, you, you literally click on Discord and you see what's selling. That's it. Or even better, you don't even have to click the app. No. And with the new CCN app, you get the ping, you click the ping, it takes you to the checkout one. and you press checkout. CCN, it's that yeah. simple, yeah, honestly. It's that simple. It's fantastic. I just, it's like you said, and it's just about like making it as simple as possible and things like that. And I can't wait. And I can't wait to roll out this new CCN app design. Like Nobody's seen it, but we'll be designing it on like the back end, but it's going to be so got, fire. I'm on the CCN app. Oh, not, is not everyone on the CCN? No, so everybody's on the CCN app now. It's fully released, but version. we're working on like a new version with more oh. features and things like I'll that. I'll be honest, it's sick. It's so good. Literally, I've actually noticed as well, the app sometimes comes like a few seconds before. It is faster. No, it is faster. But you may say, oh, a few seconds means nothing. It adds it up. It really mm. does. But what, one thing for me is, is the way how when you click a, an app notification thing, it just takes you straight to the website. With Discord, you've got to go to the Discord channel, oh, then you've got to click, click the it. link, oh. then you've got it, and then it says, do you actually want to go yeah. to sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Do you want to open it in Safari? Yeah. Well, yeah, And then obviously. before you know it, you know, a couple, that's, that's a couple, five, six seconds gone right there. Five or six seconds can mean the difference between making a hundred pound oh. profit. And yeah. people don't think that. It really, it really is does. that true. <laughs> if you, honestly, it, it's literally split seconds. Look at Argos is restocked. If you're not, Amazon restocked as well. Yeah. Things that aren't, or even the, maybe the queues, was it BT? They had a queue this morning. Yes, yeah, when they? the queues come yeah. on, when you yeah. want to get in the queues. One thing I'm looking forward to is too, so we've been experimenting with an end clothing monitor recently to like actually cop that sneaker restocks and that. And one thing I've noticed is, you know, if I'm clicking through the link on Discord, I'm actually losing like five, ten seconds on on it's end. Right. No, really it's are. literally like you add them to like you open the app, you add them to your cart, and know. you click Apple Pay, and it's checked yeah, out, yeah. and that's how you're copying them. So what I realized was I was like, when I was looking at it on Discord, and I was like, because what actually happened was we are adding sneaker pings to the app eventually, and um, all the raffles and things you like got that. Them now I still get them now. Yeah, so this is what it was. So one random ping came through to my phone and I clicked on it and I was like, no way, this is like 10 seconds faster than what on Discord it? right what now. What was it that you copied? It was, uh, I didn't actually cop it in the end, but it was just like, like off-white sneakers. They don't necessarily resell. Yeah. They've got like a little bit of profit in them, 20, 30 quid, but if you're selling them on StockX, there's no, no profits. Still, that's another good thing. CCN aren't just sell, um, putting things out, things that just resell. Things that people want for personal cops, yeah. things like off-white sneakers. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much stuff have you kept personal that you've got? Oh, countless, <laughs> countless, countless things. It's shameful. It yeah. really is shameful. Like, it is a bit of a bad you one. You sit there and it's like, if you speak to your mum and dad about it and they go, well, just sell it and you're like, no, I want to keep it's it. It's better than paying the resale though. Yeah. It's, it's, at the end it's of the like, day, you're still paying cheaper. Put it to me, if you, had a, if you have a new member who wants a PS5, yep and wants to sell a PS5, you've only got to really buy four PS5s, keep one for yourself, and then three will pay for the price of the first. Yep. In essence, your PS5 is free, really, then. but like Fully free. Yeah, 100%. We've got members who've kept PS5 personals. Come to Christmas, I've seen in the chat so consistently... I've managed to get my son a PS5. I managed to get my wife a PS5. Oh, yeah. not wife. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not judging there, Ooh, but you, you know what I mean? But uh, it, anything that's reselling and you really want it yourself, yeah. you can cop it personally. 100%. Well, and have, you, have you caught things? Well, obviously. Yeah, supreme, well, yeah, literally caught like random supreme, supreme things, things like that. Um, like you said, like like uh, raps, like Brad give uh, raps to his girlfriend, things like that. Like you know, random things like that. Like we're we're helping other people get products. You know, like we got an Xbox Series X down here. We've had that since day one. Like we yeah. busted. I remember the first cave. That was one of the yeah. first ones busted open. Was like you know what? We just it's only right for us yeah. men to have like <laughs> yeah, yeah. to have like the new gen. You can't console. resell hundreds nah, of Xbox. No, can't just do it like that. That's too stingy. Still playing console before. Yeah, Tom's got a PS Five in his room um and yeah i've got loads like of shoes even, even, even loads of sneakers. Sneakers. shoes i'm looking around here i can see jordan jordan four whites i can see travis scott lows down there the dior's more jordan dead battered <laughs> the yeah the we've got some panda dunks some panda Nike dunks. air force oh, one off white have you had a i've, I've got off white so prestos much, on yeah i've had so much success with them bloody panda dunks. all the cash they are oh, i love them they're like the new yeezy though yeah they actually are Every bird wants one. Even lads wear them. Yeah, even I'm, I'm getting some for my birthday next it's week. Cash, which cash, cash. Oh, so cash. How old are you next week then? 23. 23, man. Oh, that's a deal. But yeah, I was going to say, I've kept so so many sneakers for myself as well. Sneakers like, are sneakers cash. Sneakers American is sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we say. We're, yeah. we're heavy on the word like yeah, sneakers. sneakers like, yeah. I've never used it before coming to CCN until people usually say it. I'm like, that sounds weird when I say it. It doesn't make sense. No, nah, yeah. it's like sneakers. Sneakers is more like... 
I think Such the reselling stuff in the house, yeah, bro. I think the sneakers, bro. Sneakers. The UK is nuts, y'all. <laughs> but you guys, so what, what's the score with you guys going to like you in the American reselling market? Have you got a CCN America version? Is this what's coming up in the future for you? Or? Nah, but this is something that we've talked yeah. about a lot of times is like branching out into things like that. And I think eventually, long term, we will do. But one thing I want to focus on first is I definitely think we're, with the app, we've got so much work to do to actually make the service better. Yeah. So it's once we've mastered that, because it's like, for me, it's about mastering service. And once we've mastered it on the app, yeah. uh, I feel like once once the app's really down to a T, there will actually be not too. Obviously, apart from finding new flips and new new yeah. avenues to make money, yeah. there will not be so much we can do to improve the product. Like right now with the app, there's endless things we can do to improve the product. Oh, yeah. So one thing I think is after that, that's definitely where we'll branch out into for these sure. other markets. And we did try it for a brief period, but one massive issue is knowing how to resell in that country. And that's how we started CCN. You know, we, and especially Will Ellison, was a pro reseller. Yeah. He was just literally, like, getting every drop, like, off-white, even, Jeez. like, off-white Nikes and that. He was copying them. Like, Same he was just, girl. like, and that's where, like, a lot of the success came from. Like, he was pro reseller, and he we'd been running these groups for a while, and we got used to everything. And then, you know, before we knew it, we just started, like, teaching people who didn't know how to do it, how to do it. And then yeah. that's where the success came from. And... The way that CCM worked is because we knew how to resell like yeah. pros. We was pro resellers, and then that's why how CCM why came. was. No, was. No, still oh, yeah. Like, still but like, I'm yeah, saying, like, in the past like tense. Resell. Yeah, obviously, like, I'm still reselling all the time and that. <laughs> but, like, it's just, and it's like, that's what you need to know. You need to be a pro reseller. So that's just that. It. Otherwise, you learn from mistakes, yeah. especially in reselling. Oh, my God. Just though, like, when we were reselling and that, like, the exact same when you got into it, yeah. we introduced other people, like, Word asking what you're doing. And then you just get loads of other people into it. it was just After like, this, I'll, honestly, I'm not joking. I'll have a few mates. So I, I've never been wanted. People kind of know that, like, I, I've always been known for, like, reselling shoes because I've got, like, a, I have a client base. Yeah. So, like, well, I don't really, I don't do it as much anymore but i used to have people who come to me say oh, i want this i want this i want this I want this oh yeah, yeah. Well, i'll see what i can try yeah, and get and it. It, i love it it's like um oh it's just, it was just ama- back in the day when shoes were bigger than Pop what they yeah. shoes aren't as big as what they used to be now yeah. if you ask me i think the reason like the, the resale you look at the years when they first come out a pair of zebras yeah. would go for like six seven hundred quid it was oh, way more fly. limited yeah but so much more being saturated now though. Mm. it's still nice still good I know. Cops, and yeah. what, what i think about it is it's kind of like when yeezys were popping but that's when it was. That's when it was at like, the yeah. hype, and that's when I like. That's when I seen the. That's when I like felt like the peak like was 2017, 2018. Yeah, that wow. was when the peak was. The days and, in college. But then you got to think like it's Kanye. He's massive in pop culture. Like he's doing that, and he's yeah. bringing like so much attention to the sneaker face and making it popular amongst people. Whereas with Nike and Dunk, and like although Nike Dunk's like the most one of like the probably the most popping shoe right now, like. There's no one like Kanye behind it saying like, yeah. this is mine, yeah. this is us, like yeah. promoting them. Like they need to be, I feel like that's like the problem right now. They really. need to, pro- yeah, he was marketing them. They need to get promoted. Like nobody's promoting Night Dunks. Like because they sell out every weekend. So it yeah. makes no sense for them to promote it. But if they did promote it, I think that you'd see more people buying them for resale. Yeah, the people that promote it, the yeah. people that wear it on Instagram, like the influencers and whatever, and it's just like, I want that person. The more hype around yeah. it, the more the demand's going to go. Yeah. And I feel like they're just not marketing it really. They just don't really market it. No. Like, it's weird, and it's not. It's kind of like lacking out pop culture. Like I feel like, but the thing with Kanye was they was like Kanye's shoes. Yeah, they they were his, so he was just promoting them. It's not like it oh, wasn't well, even related to the Adidas yeah. name. It was literally just Kanye's like Adidas yeah. Yeezy shoes, and no one was bothered that they were Ye- Adidas made. It was just like oh, they're the I Yeezys. Want them. Yeah, it's like when people see them on your foot, bro. Like that's yeah. how they used to be when back we, in the day. When they we was were like, in college, no, Yeezys. What? When like, me and Alex, wild. how big were Yeezys in college, Alex? Oh, honestly, people pay stupid money, but. I really wish I knew about reselling like I do now in college. Mm, if you, oh, what's that, who's that lad called? That one, he's doing really well in CCN. His name Josh Halloway. Yeah, yeah, him. So, at, how age would it be to be sixteen now I know, and sick. learn I know. about that? Honestly, big shout out to me. He is so, he's he's smashing it. Right, but think like, about what if if you knew what you knew. If, back I, then, if I, I knew now at sixteen, flying. I'm not joking. You would make so. But before you even eighteen, your first car yeah. wouldn't be like a Fiesta or a Clio. Nah, it'd be like he said, like yeah. you, like a little like A-class A-class with an A-class A-class said, it? So it's like you know, if you are sixteen, if you are seven, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Just get involved. Just do it. It's literally get involved. perfect and, for you. Do you know you. what? You don't even need loads of money, do you? Nah, you no. don't even need, like... I mean, you, you'd advise me 500 quid. Yeah. Like, you don't need that. You can start off with 100 quid. You can start yeah. off with 50 quid. You can. You if you're that committed, flips, yeah. But you've you've really got to listen closely and read the guides yeah. and take everyone's advice. Do not dismiss anyone's advice. Really listen in. Mm. That's one thing I wish I did. And one thing I find is I find the younger people um, are more intuitive with it. They they want to learn it yeah. more. They're more committed. Whereas like we'll get like older people joining and they might be like, eh, like eh, I don't really get this. Like blah, I want to leave. Yeah. And it's like who's gonna, who's gonna buy PS5 I never for really see quid. young people <laughs> like I never really see young people like quitting it. 
I just don't know why. I just feel like younger people are just more like it's because you also don't have jobs and things like yeah. that. And for them, it is their only way yeah. of making money. And That's once you've you got that cool money, it's like, oh, I'm not going back to being broke. You've got to learn to manage your capital because yeah. when you yeah. go to the you, you'll go to the point where you'll you'll start realizing right, okay, I've got to be careful with this money now because if I lose this money, I'm gonna start eating into I can't buy like PS5s yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But you start off with a fifty quid, you buy things like little fire pits, go all the way to PS5. 500 quid, resell it, go up to 600 quid. Before, you know, you've got the money to buy graphics cards yeah. and stuff and you can start playing and learn how to manage your money properly with it's it. cash flow. Yeah, and especially all it takes is just literally open up a little eBay. How, how old do you got to be to go on eBay? Is it, is it 18 I think you, could, you have to be 18. Well, there you go. For example, get parents in. And let's be honest, you tell, you got your your 16-year-old lad or daughter, whoever telling you, Mum, Dad, I'm making money yeah. on this little website, and that they go, no, you, no, honestly, it's, <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a scam. To me. Yeah. And I'm telling you now, before you know it, they'll want to be doing it. They'll yeah. want it as their main income because you think I can make money from home and not have to go. Why should I trade my time for my money? So now, when I say trade my time, why should I go work for someone else, yeah. building someone else's dream when I could start investing in my own thing? It's like when you got people who do nine to five. There's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. Do what makes you feel comfortable on that. But do a nine to five, do your side hustle on the side, and before you know it, your side hustle will become your main income, and then you can start building things like a business, and you'll start making other avenues of income. You look at how many people we've got in CCN who, who aren't just doing CCN as a main. I'm not saying don't do CCN as your main income, yeah. but use it as a guide to fund your outside of your yeah. nine to five. Just fund what you want to do, and and this is one thing I find is, you know, there's more to life than just working for yourself. Like, oh, yeah. There, it, course, it's about course, what you actually want to do for the bigger picture, and I feel that's what most people find is like you know there are people out there who are set on working for themselves and like i was set on working for myself and things like that because for me it's just about like i'm about building my own dreams yeah. i'm about building what i want to build and i, and I want to like change the world at some point and that so for me it's like i'm never gonna uh, although i could be working towards people with the cause yeah. you know to make it there and i obviously need people to work with me to the cause to make it yeah. there and for us to make it there and for me it's just that wasn't possible for me on my own I'm not going to say his name, but there was a lad I was talking to in CCN ages because I'm not going to, I can't, I might be now, I can't remember who it was actually. And he had like a pathway of what he wanted to do with CCN. And his main thing was he wanted to do his reselling and his main job all the way up till he can get a property. And when he can do a property, he can start renovating, flipping it yeah. and start yeah. going on and on and on. I've and seen a couple of people a, say that. It's such a smart mindset to have. Yeah. CCN, what I've learned massively is it changes your mindset and how you see things. So for example, you'll go from, why should I, um, I want to get the latest shoes to hold on I want to get the latest shoes to sell the latest shoes and then say you get 10 pairs or something keep one pair and the nine pairs that you sold is profit and has paid for your 100%. shoes it's it's such a clever way of doing things it's all the way how you see things so if you go into CCN wanting to just buy items for yourself there's nothing wrong with that but before you know it you'll develop your mindset to think right okay I can resell it make more money do something else make another avenue of income and you start thinking mm. I don't need to work for someone to make money I can yeah. do other ways of making money 100%. Days. and that's what I think it should be about and I think that like I wouldn't want people to work for me if they're the, obviously like making money's part of it and you need yeah. to make money to live, but I wouldn't want someone's sole reason to be working for me is because they're getting paid a lot of money. I would yeah, not yeah, ever yeah. hire anyone Passion. for that because I know Passion the next drive. person who comes along and offers them high wage, the fucking gone. gone. Straight off. And yeah, yeah. it's like, for people like that, for me, it's a bit like, you know, they're, they're not people that I'm interested in and I understand that people like come and go and things like that. But yeah, for me, course. it's about it's building life. a bigger thing and that's one thing. It's like, picture, isn't it? yeah. You want people in your circle that are going to help you grow and yeah. you can help them grow. And I want to help them grow. It's yeah, like a big family and that, especially here, it's like, you know, it's not going to be like a corporate thing where it's going to be like no, of course nothing not. like that. You can't have something like corporate in this sector because you lose the touch and the passion for reselling. It just yeah. becomes, don't get me wrong, it is all about money. There's no high in it. Of course, you only want it for making money. Yep. But when you're building connections on the way to the point where you don't want to do reselling anymore and you've got people, like yeah. you want to go into the property. Community or, yeah. Just yeah. Insane. Oh, the community. Look and this CCN's is the next community. point. Wow. What is it you guys have found most profitable, which we've already asked before? Yep. Uh, some of your biggest losses which are founded like with like NFTs and stuff like that um, like some of the cars you guys have because you look you guys are, are sub 20 most of you are sub 25 items really and you guys have achieved supercars a lot of nice things in life and you you know you built your own business and everything. There's so much I'd love to talk about. I've not got it on my, it's on my old phone. Um, but like, there's so much I just love to fucking ask because there's, I don't know how to describe it. There's a lot of people who aspire to be like yourselves where you're making money, you're young and you're doing it from your phone. Yeah. And it's before lockdown as well. It's before everyone had to work from home. You guys work from home for a reason because yeah. you love it. It's easy. You roll yeah. out of bed, you make money. You roll out of bed, you go on a stage, you get a PS5, you get someone to come to the door, you made under 50 quid profit. It's simple cash, yeah. do you know what I mean? 
but I love it, Toast. 100%. Oh, it. And that's like one thing I've always thought is as well. It's like, you know, it's about reselling. Like, why would I not resell yeah. along why all my other stuff? Do it do? alongside. So I've got like anything. so much stuff to do. Yeah. Like, I'm obviously recording, I'm doing the develop things and like that. And then and then I'm copying bits and bobs in between. Yeah. I'm doing like support, like technical support, and now I'm doing yes. all these mad things, checking in on ads, TikToks, and that. It's, it's, a, it's wild. And then I'm still managing to fit reselling in between that and yeah. showing you all that I'm just Isn't doing it. Isn't it mad that reselling so big, but yeah, it's the smallest pool you guys are fishing in? Do you know what I mean? I know. Like the smallest yeah. pond you guys are fishing in and no one knows, you know what I mean? It's like wild. The it secrets behind CCS. <laughs> yeah. it, it's wild. It's just it's just wild. I think it's just... I, I would say it's wild how it exists, but I've been doing it for so long now that it's like, well, it's why normal. do I think it's wild anymore? I just, I just think, like, why, why is everybody not doing it? Why, why, no, uh, why is everybody not doing it? Big throwback question for you from when you first started. What was your first items you guys resold? My first one was Palace Shorts. I think everybody... Was it? <laughs> 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 Palace, everybody knows it. Palace Shorts. Yeah, literally. Palace Shorts. Um... Fifty pounds, sold them for hundred pounds. Will like Will Ellison helped helped me a lot with it and that. Um, Will got me because mine I, as well. I was I was still sixteen at the time, so I, was, I think I was even fifteen, you know. And so I was proper like brain dead, <laughs> like <laughs> nothing to like what yeah, I am I was today. Brain dead not brain dead, but I just wasn't like I just wasn't the person I am now. Yeah. And um, obviously, I did that. And then the next one after that was Grey Gum Seven Fifties, and I made like. Really yeah, that was your second yeah, cut. Yeah, six hundred, seven hundred quid profit. Mad, that's a high bloody place to start. Well, yeah, a bit in between, didn't you? What do you mean? Nah, nah. So that it was literally the palace shots were like two, three weeks before, because it was, really? and then it was like the next drop was the grey gum drop, and then we obviously had the Adidas back door. So I, I caught. You had an Adidas back door. Yeah, like we just bypassed uh, the splash page, mate. Mad. And just I just like link. You just bang the link yeah. in. Yeah. It. Was, <laughs> even, was that like twenty sixteen? Yeah. Nah. No, the grey gum drop. So whenever that was, yeah, twenty sixteen. Nah, it can't be that long ago. Yeah, it will be. You think no, I was so you're you're same age as me then, aren't you? Twenty one you're twenty one then. Twenty twenty one, yeah. Twenty one. Oh yeah, that's good. Twenty seventeen. That's mad that. Is. Yeah, wow, that's that's you should have seen me and him in college. We didn't do reselling anything. It was like it was mad. No one was really everyone had nice stuff, but they paid resale prices. Yeah. I really wish I'd learned. Yeah. Like I said, if I was that Josh at sixteen, I would invest so much of my time, my effort into just learning about how to resell them. Obviously, I know he can like, but yeah. really develop himself. Yeah. At sixteen, you have got five years to your twenty one really invest all you've got into yeah. this and before you're 21 like and it's like with me and like for me for my growth as well as like uh, some of my business growth was stagnated for a long time but that was just due to my own commitments like my own i just wasn't like as com- i just wasn't as committed as like yeah. i should have been and like i'm nowhere near as committed as i am now like but like for that was my massive problem was yeah. like that i wasn't committed in that and then just like things happened and i seen things and i was like well you know what yeah. like actually like this is for through. me yeah you got power through in that and then of course like, you have I w- I one like life changing moment was like I'd been reselling with these guys and that and we all went to Monaco to watch the F one yeah and I went there and Is I that just the plane photo or something on your Instagram? No, no, nah no. nah oh. but anyway so we went to Monaco F one and we just I, I just flew out when I was like I, I, you were I was, in, no you was in college yeah I was basically. in college I was in college <laughs> and the day we was there the night before and we're messaging him saying like you coming out you coming out you coming out and it was like your mates that said to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I wasn't going to go. And then one of my mates, and I will thank him eternally for this, is like, and if this hadn't have happened, I would definitely, I wouldn't have had like this, ma- like this moment where I changed like my outlook. Yeah, and yeah. then like, so what happened was like, I went there and this lad was like, lad, what are you doing? If I had this opportunity to go to watch Monaco F1, I'd Do fly it. out on my own, go meet your boys there and like have a good time. And that, yeah, what yeah. are you doing? Why are you not doing that? And I was like, you know what? You're right. Like you're actually yeah, right. So it. then I went and d- I did it and that, and then I just went there and I just, and I just like we were, we were somewhere that we shouldn't have been basically, yeah. and so that motivated us like twenty times more. Yeah, so yeah. we just see, like I want to be here yeah. comfortably, and that and was I just it. seen that this lifestyle and that, and like and and then and then from that it was that was kind of like a moment, and that was kind of like a realization was like. For for me, I like oh, up until that point, I w- I wasn't even like so. St- I I I'd, before that, m- I had a period where I was well set on doing business, and I was like, I can do anything, and I'd already had this like knowledge that like you know people, and especially when I first started reselling, I was like, you know, I can do anything. Like yeah. look at Richard Branson, like he's dyslexic, he's come from nobody, and now he's a billionaire. Yeah. Like he's come from nowhere, Everyone so it's like things like that, and and I was just like, for some reason in my brain, that was just like a constant thought of mine. I was like, these all these people have done it, why can't I be like them? Like how am I any different? Like yeah. and it, uh, for whatever reason, I had that in my head and then I started doing all these things and that and then I learned to code and then I just fell off and I just really wasn't putting in the effort Will was carrying me for a good while and then like like I said I went there and then I came back and I was like you know what like I'm gonna go out at this now yeah. and then that's when I started learning loads and then we got our office and then it just slowly spiraled and we just started learning more learning more just working every single day yeah. and then like working more than that and then we're so here now. Your, what you just said then your circle is exactly the whole 
what your network is your net worth. Yeah, literally. So literally, you, whoever you've got around in your close circle, if they, I'm not, I don't want to say it's if they're helping saying, you make no, money is. and everything like that, but like you've really got to help each other out. Yeah. I am not one to say just go solo doing things. Never ever. I mean, yeah, you can do, but especially with CCN, it, like yeah. making your network is essential, especially in your early days of doing reselling. Yeah, it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Uh, like, where, so where have you gone to now from CCN? What have, like what are the, some of the things that you've took from CCN? Might not be like a Ma- restock or the consoles or the mindset money, mindset change. Some Ma- of the stuff. Seriously, changing your mindset and how you see your money, how you manage your money, how you like spend your money. It, all of it, it's money orientated. Yep. I don't see things the same anymore. When I walk in shops, I don't see myself as just a consumer in the yeah, shop, yeah. I see myself as the potential seller to another consumer. Yeah. So I sit there and go, right, okay. I, I know obviously... You're looking for opportunity. Yeah, always looking for opportunity. Don't ever dismiss a single opportunity. Yeah. Especially I've learned with CCN. Like, like, doing the, like when I've done the drone stuff, you sit there and you're like, right, everyone's making money. Why am I not making money? How can I make more money doing this? Yeah. So you sit there and so you speak with your little friends, your circle, so you, you go like, whoever... You, I, let me reword myself. For example, you've got like your mates who are either not into reselling. Get them into reselling. Tell them what to do. Teach them. Show them the little stepping stones and then let them go the, whichever way that they go. But honestly, like you just said, that you was a classic example of your network is your net worth. 100%. It really is. And like, if I hadn't had these people around me, like I wouldn't be where I am today. And it's like, and I feel like that's what people, uh, like people underestimate, you know, if you're hanging around with people who are like, and don't share the same aspirations and you're working with people who don't share the same aspirations, you know, how are you going to like, no, it's no, like for no, me, no, you know, no. when times when I've been demotivated, the rest of the lads are motivated and yeah. then they're just like, shut up. Like what we're we on about, like we're doing this, we're getting this and we're going to like make it work. Yeah. And then like points like that, that's where it matters the most. And like people, People like that spur you on. You're like a unit at that point. You know, four people, five people is better than one person. You know, you got like four or five times the brain power. Yeah. You know, four five times the amount you can do in one day. You know, it's it's an absolute no brainer. And I feel like for people like that, one of the one of the things that I would say is, you know, find other people who share the same aspirations, share the same goals, who yeah. want to do the same things, and then team up with them and yeah. go at it. And then you know, and like, and and. Uh, I, I know I, I don't think we're far enough along the line yet to kind of like understand the complexities of like people's lives and like personal yeah. lives and like things like that going wrong but you know from from what I've seen so far is just definitely get yourself a good set of people who yeah, all yeah. share the same aspirations you are, you team up be loyal though. if people start backstabbing people mate you fucking yeah. get rid of the rotten wood yeah you got to learn in this game you can't show any negative emotion you got to think right get up get going you get knocked down but the thing is going off bit of top going off topic here if you are a solo person, you don't have any mates, CCN is another perfect time. There's a networking function available yeah. there to meet like-minded people. And just because you don't see them in person doesn't mean you can't network no. with them and build You've a all share, You're all sharing the same aspirations exactly. at the end of the day. Everyone, who makes, everyone wants to make money and no one's going to leave each other, yeah. anyone out. And if you are only 16, 17, or even if you're 50, 60 years of age, there's people there, there's a live chat, you've got staff who can help you 24-7. Yeah. I know you guys say, you know, we're not always available 24-7. There's been times where I've been up at 2 in the morning trying to see, like, a PS5 cop or something like that, and someone from the staff function, uh, the live chat function, gone, hiya, yeah, we'll help. Is it Lewis or someone? Is it yeah, Lewis yeah, we've or someone? we've got loads of people. Lewis. We've got loads shout of people. Lewis. Lewis. Still yeah, yeah, Lewis. Yeah, massive Lewis. shout out to Lewis. Shout out to all the boys. Every, all anyone anyone who does li- uh, the live chat stuff, honestly, massive shout out. I, I must be a massive pester in there, <laughs> there and it's like half the time they go check the guide please and then they'll but then they'll show please you the guides, the guides. Yep. yes yeah here's the guides read the guides <laughs> <laughs> right? but like it's so true though isn't it but they'll even help you find that guy which yeah. is really good yeah. but yeah massive massive big note i learned is if we, especially with ccn it's who you know not what you know yeah. you've really got to build your connections if you ain't building your connections and building your confidence and learn how to sell things and learn how to make other avenues of income I don't want to say you're not going to go anywhere in life because anyone can go in on any path of life. But like, you've really got to think, reevaluate. What am I doing now, and where do I want to go, and how do I get there? That's yeah. it. You said before, you mentioned before about your uh, drone oh, business. Do you want to uh, right. explain yeah. how how so, what you're um, doing now? Basically, la- last summer, um, I on a bit of a whim, stupid, stupid thing. Bought a drone as a toy with the profits of CCN. I was like, oh yeah, go on then. I want to buy a drone. I flew it round. And my dad was like, you've gone and bought a drone. <laughs> do, you know what, do you want me to tell you what? The first big flip I ever had, like 750 gums that he was on about before, I sold them and I bought a drone as well. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was my <laughs> first ever yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big first cop. Yeah, I spent all my I can't remember what my big it. first cop was. I can't remember. Um, I, oh, 
can't remember. It'll, it'll come anyway, to me like. Yeah. But anyway, so my dad was like, right, okay, you've got a drone here. You spent like five, six hundred. I can't remember how much I spent. He was like, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> I was like, uh, he said, I'll tell you what then. My mum my, my and my dad are very, very, uh, what's the word now? Very... Business, business oriented. Very business oriented. So they think, right, okay, what what are the opportunities you can have from this? So yeah, you've gone out, you bought a, a drone <laughs> pretty much yep. for no reason. <laughs> and my mum and dad were like, well, I'll tell you what then, why don't you go see who needs like dr- uh, aerial yep. footage? That's such a and I, was, and I was like, I was like, that's not a bad idea. That. Do you know how much this drone was? What? I think, I think about, I got, I got, I got it as a bundle, so I got like a few, I got a few battery packs, I got a yeah. case, I got like a protective cover, I got a little screen thing that goes on the drone. I got, it was a really good kit. Yeah. Um, and anyway, I just went out. I just started asking businesses, you know, um, can I do some drone photos for you for free? And they're like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Are you CAA licensed? And I was like, oh, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> so it was back at square one. I was like, right, okay, so now I've got to learn. Yeah. Where can I fly it? How can I fly it? You know, what licenses do you need? You need business insurance. You need this. You need that. And there's like loads of regulations. So anyway, I went out and got my license and stuff. And I spent hours and hours and hours on YouTube watching loads of stuff. And then there's a lad near me, actually, when I was going for a PS5 drop at Smith's. <laughs> and he does, um, I can't, I'll give him a shout out, but I can't think of his name. He worked on the social media team for Warrington Wolves Club, and he has a he's big, big on yep. scale drones. Like he won't do jobs unless they're big jobs. He won't really? waste the time. I was like mad. So anyway, he was talking me through it, and again building your network. Yeah. He was telling he Doing was telling me how to find yeah. clients, how to build your page, how to build a website. I was like, he's giving me all this me for free. I was like, oh, how can I help you? I was like, no, don't be that. Just drop me a follow. I was like, oh yeah, of course. I speak <laughs> with him from time to time. Um, but yeah, it really is. It's ace. That's I love sick. it. It's probably something I'd like to do as a profession. But yeah. right, um, so currently, right now, part of like the little business that I'm running, I, we do things like uh, property photography, 3D virtual tours around homes, um, obviously aerial pictures. You anything that's like visualized, we can try and get it sorted Gosh, out yeah. for you. Um, yeah, cool. I love that it. Really, 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 really cool. Cool. It's, like it's money you just found this like little niche from. Yeah, honestly, CCN, I, like, that all you. thanks to my mum and dad. Mass- massive, massive thanks. You really, you don't realize what you've got until like you see 100%. the opportunity in life yeah, and go, wow. Sure. But yeah, love it. I was like, do you guys want any, any other businesses around CCN or? Um, not no. really. We're doing NFT. We've experimented with a couple of things here and there. I used to run a sneaker bot back in the day. Did you? Yeah. You code it all yourself as well? Yeah, yeah. And that's where I learned like a lot of coding skills and a lot of like things about apps, things like that. You know, how actually things are structured. Yeah. I learned like loads of stuff from there. Um, so that gave me a lot of knowledge and it gave me something to work on for a year straight, like yeah. every single day, you know, like three, six, five, time, yeah, yeah, just loads of time, effort. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing I did for a bit, but other than that, nothing really much at the moment. How can just you stop doing on. that then? Um, just cause I was seeking big opportunity and I wanted to work like more on CCM because yeah. it was taking me a lot of time and effort. And I hate, the thing I hate about sneaker bots is it's not, <laughs> it's like, it's not necessarily about like what you're doing. It's about finding like the right jig and like finding like an exploit, finding a way to get shoes and then using that as an exploit with automation and then just carrying that out. And yeah. if people don't make money, they're not going to make money. So for me, it was just like, it just taking a lot of time and I wanted to focus on CCN and I see more opportunity in CCN. Yeah. I also had trouble with like keep, I had like a couple of developers over the time, but I struggled to find new developers. Who, yeah. But it, now looking back on it from what I know now, I'd be able to go back and yeah, do it again. Do yeah, I'd 100% be able to do it. You use it like I was saying before, you're going to use things as a step and Yeah, stuff. it is. And yeah. it taught well, me a lot. You're going to and you're going to learn, right, okay, well, I've made a mistake with this. Where can I go next? Yeah. What do I need next to keep going forwards to help progress? It's all about self-development and progression. Yeah, you can learn skills and using different, av- different yeah. avenues all the time. Honestly, it's amazing. Tell me a bit about yourself then, t- Tom. So like, um, what is it you've, businesses, what mistakes have you made? What's made you now to be oh, who you are? Li- uh, well, I literally, I was running this literally at the side of my job. Mm. So I had a full-time job. And when I said like, I said to myself, when I make like this much money, yeah. I'm just going to pack it in. What were you doing? I was doing graphic design. You doing graphic design? No, you still good at it, type thing. Or? He does I all the graphic design now. So we do all the graphic design. design. We still have a gra- we have a graphic designer as well. Yeah, but that's good. I still like we just add down the app and stuff and yeah. let these boys code it. Yeah, that's good. That. Give so them you the all hard work task. Together, then, don't you mm-hmm. really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all have our own avenues within the company still, and that's it's never changed. So since. what happened then? So when you did graphic design, you went right. I want more out of life. I want this. I want that. I just want to work for myself. You want to work for yourself? Yeah, I wanted to work for myself. So I was working for like a family friend, really. Right. So it wasn't too bad. Like I didn't mind it or whatever, but. I was always reselling or whatever on the side. Like, yeah. always, I'd always have like, it was Slack back in the day, not Discord. I'd always have Slack open in the background. I'd always be copying sneakers yeah. and whatever. 
But then it just got to a point where I was days, sneaking. Weren't they? <laughs> yeah, so, it's so much easier back then getting shoes and everything. It's just oh, like, mate, oh, it's everything's easy. botted to fuck now, isn't it? So <laughs> yeah, it's mad. You want a, any pair of really decent Jordans or anything, and you're not part of like a, either like like you know CCN or yeah. no pings. So you honestly, you're on your own. You're not. It's a bit better now. I'd say like, like ten months ago or whatever, it was literally almost impossible. Yeah. But now it's a li- it is better. Yeah. Now than it was. Oh yeah, it's um, gone loads. I think yeah. last, especially the last few years when everyone was from home as well. Botting went through the roof. It's, it's insane. So, yeah. It really insane. ruins it in a way yeah, it because does ruin it. if you don't have the bots yourself, you're not going to cop them. No. Um, but talk about like off chances. My cousin actually got uh, exclusive access and sneakers to the uh, the UNC Jordan ones. Uh, was this on the sneakers day? Yeah. Will got the same thing. Ready for this? This is where she got thingy. They come and she wa- she was going to sell them because they weren't her size. She was gutted. But they had a glue mark on, <sighs> and I was like mad. So anyway, I was like, are you joking? You're not StockX and stuff won't take it and yeah, stuff, Yeah, they wouldn't. StockX was like, no, we're not touching with the barge pole. And then like eBay with the same. She was like, I was like, what do we do? So anyway, she was like, oh, do you know what? I'll squeeze my feet into me. <laughs> she, she, she made him work in the end. Like, she's like, oh, I love it. But uh, she, she's massive into a Jordan, just say. Yeah. So is there any a really good Jordan? I'll tell you what, uh, she's she's going to be like a little reseller. And so I'm telling you now, I've, I see it in her. She's like, she's copped a few pairs of Jordans. She's had like the metallic ones. She had the, what them pink, what them pink, like the latex pink ones, what they call The crimson ones, I don't uh, know. The crimson ones or something crimson like that. Tint. She's had a few pairs there. I see it. I see it coming like, but I don't know. She busts, yeah. She's ace. She'll be getting tips off you. Yeah. No, <laughs> no all by herself. All by herself, right. nothing off me. Oh, She'd help her out. I yeah, know. Oh, no one like Alex helped you out. You need to help her out. Yeah. Oh no, I'll, I'll always help anyone out. Like, like I said before, it's all about opportunity. If an opportunity comes your way, really give it and offer offer everyone the opportunity. I mean, yeah. don't ever hold a grudge or anything. If, if someone can help, if you can help them and they can help you in return, do it. Hundred percent. Just go out there and do yeah. it. Make your circle really strong. Honestly, it's just like I'm just waffling away. The winning team. <laughs> just make yourself a winning team, and then. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got any other questions that you want to ask? Or um, to be honest, mate, I think that concludes. Yeah. All is that, is that the video? Anything, right. I think that's I think a that's podcast. I'd just like over. to say a massive, massive thank you for CCN to bring me on here. I've loved it. I, laughed, I liked the last video and this podcast. And if you ever guys, if you guys ever want me back, I'm more than happy to come back. I think I've gone to appreciate you coming on, like listening to your story. It's thank been, you. it's been, it's been really good. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think that concludes it for this week, people. You know, same as every other week. Like, subscribe, comment on this video. Let us know what you want to see next. Let us know who you want us to get on. Or if you're a Crypt Chief Notify member, you think you've got a good story, let us know as well. We're looking for people to get on. You know, we're really looking for people to relate it to reselling and things like that. So I think that concludes it. Nope. Thank yeah. you, Brad, once very again. Welcome, it's been an absolute welcome, pleasure. You've absolutely you. killed it. And I'm glad to hear that you're making success <laughs> Thank and you everything much, like man. that. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cheers! Cheers! Anyway, cheers!